Hello tennis players. Today at Mike Tennis, I'm going to be working on the slice backhand. Everyone should have the slice backhand in their tennis toolbox. Today I'll be working on mine. All right, let me get my slice on. The first thing you'll want to do with the slice backhand is to grip the racket with a continental grip. Your non-dominant hand should be placed on the throat of the racket. You should grip the racket not too light, not too hard, but somewhere in the middle. Unlike all the other ground strokes in tennis, the swing path is from high to low. Don't open the racket face up too much or the ball will pop up. With the slice backhand, you're putting underspin on the ball. And because of that, the ball will stay low and not bounce as high. Just like any ground stroke in tennis, you'll want to be in the ready position with your toes pointed forward and your feet a little wider than shoulder width apart and your knees slightly bent. Be on the balls of your feet, ready to move. Step forward with your dominant foot just before contact with the ball. Just like every ground stroke in tennis, no two players will hit the ball exactly the same. Therefore, the stroke mechanics will vary from player to player, and also depending on what situation the player might find themselves in. One of the great things about the slice backhand is you can use it on low bouncing balls, medium bouncing balls, and high balls, all very effectively. When stretched out wide, the slice backhand can be used defensively to help keep you in the point. When you receive a very high ball to your backhand side, or even a high bouncing serve, you can use the slice backhand to effectively return the ball. When coming to the net, the chip and charge with the slice backhand can help put you in a winning position. One of the most effective uses of the slice backhand is if your opponent has heavy topspin ground strokes. By utilizing the slice backhand towards those strokes, because of their grip position, either the semi-western or the western grip, they have trouble digging out those low bouncing balls, so it's definitely to your advantage.
If you find yourself in a long ground stroke rally with your opponent, a very effective tactic is to throw in a slice backhand. That can change the tempo of the back and forth rally, oftentimes forcing your opponent into a costly error. Well, that certainly was fun. Thanks for joining me. Hope you enjoyed the video today, and I'll see you next time at Mike Tennis. Keep playing.